Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to this workshop review where we take a quick look at what happened in the Copenhagen Sabor Riddles last Saturday. We'll start with our large water flow test stand for the upcoming BPM100 injector, which we took out into the sun for its first blowdown tests. They were only limited to uh, one tank at 75% of its capacity, meaning 300 liters of water. The first one was only pressurized to around 3 bar, but it did its job perfectly. On the second one, we took it a little bit further, giving it around 8 bars of pressure. And that was able to blast 300 liters of water high into the air in around 5 seconds. Keep in mind we also have a 2.5 inch restrictor on the discharge pipe in the form of the Venturi flow meter. Running it without it could probably empty it twice as fast. So hopefully this gives you an idea of just how hungry the speed engine is going to be running 4 bars of the injector phase for this test stand. Moving on, we had a no less exciting reaction control thruster demonstration from Adrian. After getting the electronics to an operational state and testing his system for leaks and pressure, he was finally able to see all his work pay off in a beautifully functioning system. If you haven't seen yesterday's full video from his first tests, press on the card in the top right and give it a watch. And of course, no weekend would be complete without a few soldered swirler elements. Here you can see Bo making life easy for himself with the Swirling Swirler Paste Application Simplificator, which he put together to apply soldering paste onto the elements. From there, Jakob took them into the induction furnace and heat them up. We're getting pretty close to achieving the mass flow we expect from them, so fingers crossed for a static BPM5 engine test in the near future. Martin, Jesper and Carson continued working on assembling the engine for the DSC rib, and John had a hand making some load plates as well as the long seam welder. I didn't have much time to film around being busy with our Airbnb tour guests, so that is all I have for you this time. But as always, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.compsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.